30. Anybody has doubt before 30? Anybody before 30? No one. Alright guys, take out, take out your books. All of you have got the books, right? Anybody who did not get? Okay. Uh, when you will get? When I see you. Okay. Oh, what is your name? Karthik. Karthik. So Karthik, you will get your books probably next class. I will forward. Otherwise, I will have got Tell me. What is retardation? Tell me now. What is negative action? I mean, it's not uh, proper. Negative action could depend on negative. If I assume this action will be positive, and that, that is the way retardation is, you can say retardation is positive then. Can, can you give a proper definition of what is retardation? You just name it differently. Deceleration. Now, what, what is it? Okay. Is half correct? Can, can you make it? Can you make this statement better? He is saying reducing speed. It is an acceleration. Acceleration is constant. Acceleration can't reduce. What other definition? Please. Retardation. It's in the opposite side of the direction of velocity. Opposite direction of initial velocity. Is yes. retardation. Or you can, like she said, opposite direction of velocity. Even that, if you write. That is correct. Understood? Because positive and negative depends on what direction you assume positive, what direction you assume negative. If your initial velocity is negative, retardation could be positive. Yes or no? Any other doubt? Any other concept you doubt? Sir, it's not the third one. It says. No, no. I am coming to that. I am coming to the homework question. Any conceptual doubts you have? Ah. Uh, the definition of particle. What is a particle? What do you think a particle is? Can, can you give an example of particle here? A speck of dust. Why are we taking so tiny this thing? See, when you say position of an object, when I say position of an object, and we assume this much big object from here to here, okay? Can I say that entire object is at x equal to 0? Not possible, right? Because this object is big. So I will never be able to say that this entire object is at some particular point, right? So whatever examples you have taken that, you know, a bicycle is at x equal to 10 meters or a bus is at x equal to 50 meters, we are all assuming that bicycle, bus and everything is just a point mass. Are you getting it? Okay? So that, we, that confusion is not there because this entire object is located, let's say, from x equal to 0 till x equal to 50 centimeters. So I will not be able to exactly say where is this object. Yes or no? Same thing. Whatever, I mean, the, the bigger object, these kind of scenario you will learn in class 11. Okay? Not now. Not right now you are dealing with what? A particle or a point mass which is moving with constant acceleration and also in a straight line right now. Getting it? Any other doubt? Any other conceptual doubt? Feel free to ask anything, whatever comes in your mind. You might have studied for the test, right? So doubt has to be there. Huh. So now, what is time of flight, anybody? Uh, the time it stays in the air. The time it stays in the air before hitting the ground or whatever, before hitting any obstacle, right? Till there is acceleration due to gravity acting on it or till only mg force is acting on it. As soon as object hits the ground, apart from mg, the ground also exerts on it some force, right? So from wherever, if I throw from here, from here, Till it hits the ground. That is the time of flight. Getting it? Any other doubt? Anything? Whatever comes to your mind. Huh? Sir, when the velocity value has a minus, it means its velocity is the opposite direction of initial velocity, right? If what? Sir, if if it if my velocity is minus five meters. Suppose you find velocity to be minus five, you say. Right. So what I said, before you apply any equation of motion s equal to u plus half d square, whatever it is. What do you have to do? One direction you have to take, positive, other direction is negative. Suppose your final velocity, which you are finding out, comes out to be negative. What does it mean? Your velocity is in the negative side of whatever you have assumed positive, the, or, or the other side of whatever you have assumed positive. 
Are you getting it? Things are very very simple. If you are getting velocity to be minus 5 meter per second, it means that 5 meter per second in the negative side of what you have assumed. Right? What else? Any other doubt? No other doubt. No studies, no doubt. Ah, now you have doubt. What, what? Ah, you can ask me little, but not from the homework. Homework will discuss. Any other doubts? Anything? Okay, those who are asking doubts, I'll assume that they have studied more than those who have not, who are not asking doubts. Okay. So if you are studying doubts, bound to be there. If you are not asking doubts, it means that you have not studied. Very simple. Okay. It's not uh, so straightforward also. I can say. Anyways, so till 30 no doubts, right? Let's go to homework. Till question number 30 no doubts. No doubts till 30. Okay, question number 30. Uh, all of you, uh, this is your book, right? Whose book is this? Which page number? 72. Okay, anybody has gone beyond the homework or anybody tried other questions than uh, it were? Uh, Random with you? Okay, so you? Okay. So I have no uh, Coming to that. See, this book has nicely organized all the questions. You can see that towards the end there are Olympiad and NTSC level exercises. Okay? So they are, uh, they will actually make you think very hard. Alright? So, you know, if you are able to complete all the exercises, you know, you will not have to come back and study for class 11 of this chapter. In class 11, again this chapter is coming by the way. This chapter will again come. Okay? But all these challenging exercises and Olympiad level exercises, these are you can say that class 11 and beyond exercises. Maybe this, these Olympiad exercises, they are of the uh, difficulty level of J mains and advanced. Okay? But it is based on only what you have learned. It is not something which you have not learned. Just that they are more tricky. Get it? And how many of you are uh, writing QDs, solving QDs, here and okay, why not others? So so. Be very regular with QDs. How many questions are there? Just one question in one day. If you if you can't solve even one question in one day, something is wrong. Okay. Anyways, before question number 30 you said, right? Which one? Sir, 11. 11. Okay, all of you please read the question number 11 and can you answer? The velocity of a body starting from rest is directly proportional to time. Velocity is proportional to time. So, what kind of motion it is? Is it constant velocity, acceleration, both velocity and acceleration or velocity, not acceleration? All of you please think about it. There is a solution also behind, right? Yeah. Don't see that. Okay. Oh, you don't know. Ah, tell me. Okay, sit down. Why acceleration? Why acceleration? Okay, you think there's velocity. Why acceleration? Because if it is directly proportional to time, which means that uh, every second or every minute the velocity increases by a certain amount, which means that the, if, if it's in a graph, okay. the time is Very good. So she has solved it graphically. V is proportional to T means V is equal to some constant times T. Yes or no? So what kind of graph it will be? V and T? 
it will be graph passing through a line passing through a region like this. Yes or no? A straight line which has some slope between V and T is what? Constant? Acceleration. Yes or no? Right? You can solve it uh, algebraically also. You can say that you can compare this equation with V is equal to U plus AT. Okay? So if U is 0, initial velocity is 0, it is V is equal to A times T. Okay? So this constant of proportion is nothing but the acceleration of this. Okay? So you can solve it both ways. Huh. How I solve it like that? Huh? Okay, this is this is the equation of motion for constant acceleration or not? Right? This will be valid only when there is a constant acceleration, right? So if if initial velocity is zero, the final velocity will be equal to acceleration times t. Yes or no? Okay? And you have this equation v is equal to c times t. Okay? So both are similar or not? C is also constant, A is also constant, acceleration. Okay? So you can compare that, okay, both, both of them are similar looking. So whatever the scenario happening here, same thing should happen here also. Okay? Anyway, so that's why constant acceleration. Right? Ah. What? 23rd. 20th. 2-0. All of you please read the question number 2-0. Okay, let me answer. Give the expression for uh, to find out displacement in the nth second. Can you derive it? Nth second means the one second which is nth. How do you find out this? Then you need to subtract it. Okay? So all of you please solve this. So the distance travelled at n second will be distance travelled till till n seconds minus distance travelled till n minus 1 second. Okay? Assume that acceleration is A and initial velocity is U. Solve it. U and A you can assume initial velocity and acceleration and the particle is moving in a straight line. Okay, do it. Should I solve or should I wait? Alright, tell me the distance travelled in n seconds should be equal to what? U, ut right, u into n, t is n seconds? Yeah. ut plus half a into t square. This is the distance travelled in n seconds. Yes or no? Distance travelled in n minus 1 seconds will be what? u into n minus 1 plus half into a times n minus 1 whole square. Right? So can you subtract these two and get the value of distance travelled in the nth second? Can you simplify it? Do it quickly. Okay, when you subtract, then you get u plus half a 2n minus 1. Okay, how many of you got this expression? You can just subtract this from that. Open n minus 1 whole square. Understood? Tell me how many of you are getting this expression now? I can see only 5-6 hands. Quick, I am giving you one more minute. So this you can treat like your fourth equation of motion. If I, if there is a numerical which says calculated distance travel in the 10th second of the journey, then you have to use.